so today I have some friends joining me. Uh, <laughs> so when I when I got this house, I had these two paintings that I really like, um, and but I wasn't sure where I could hang them or how to fit them, and I knew that I wanted to kind of keep the paintings um, in this sort of orientation, um, and so that's why I hung that guy sideways thinking that I would paint over it or do something different, but I just wanted to get the um, the paintings up there on the wall so I could see how they looked. Um, but now I kind of like it that that guy is sideways. He's kind of fun. <laughs> so anyway, plus I'm trying out videoing in different areas of my home, you know. Um, I don't know. Let's move on. Uh, let's get to the point. Um, I'm wearing this, so... The point is not my shirt, but I do have this nifty little shirt, and it's like, ooh, a little bit sexy, isn't it? But this is what I find to be hilarious about this shirt. It has a keyhole. Like, I'm wearing a leopard shirt with, like, a thing. Like, is it, this is, like, overkill to me. Anyway, uh, but whatever. Let's move on again to the point. So, a couple of months ago, I got a Birchbox subscription. Um, and if you don't know what Birchbox is... Good for you because it just leads to no good um so you can just go online and purchase some boxes and they'll send you various beauty things or stuff like that or you can get a subscription to where you pay a certain amount per month or you can get like a year long and a, or something like that um and then you will get every month you'll get a box like this full of various um sample size um beauty stuff and with the hopes that you will then go and purchase from them the full size stuff. But I like it because it gives you a whole bunch of samples of the things that I wouldn't normally try out um, myself. And then I can go and see if they're on sale at Sephora or Ultra or something like that. Um, so it's fine. But I do find that it kind of adds to what, um, I saw another video about where, um, women are goo hoarders. Like we have 7,000 chapsticks and lotions and things like that. Um, and I totally have that as well. But I did go through not so long ago and I threw out a whole bunch of my lotions and things because they were just not very good at all. Um, but anyway, so, but this is fun and I, I got the subscription for really, for cheaper than what they typically sell it. Um, anyway, so let, let's move on. Again, I've said it like 20 times and I'm not moving anywhere. I'm getting nowhere. Uh, let me just, so I wanted to tell you or show you some of the things that I've gotten from Birchbox and what I thought of them. Because, so when you sign up, you can select what type of samples and things that you're into. So I think I selected hair products, makeup products, and, um, something else uh but so sometimes I get like little snacks in there so I got this is a like a little caramel toffee thing I haven't tried it it's a mini chocolate bar um I think I didn't eat it because it's dark chocolate and I don't really like dark chocolate but apparently it's only 60 calories this little popcorn pop chocolate I don't I should just bring it to work and give it to one of my students here you go, I got this in the mail, I don't remember when. Uh, no, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> anyway, so I got that. But I also, this last time, I got a bunch of teas. Um, so, English tea number one. Uh, that's just black tea. Oh, this one's black currant. That would be probably really good. And then green tea, um, which... Green tea's funny. I mean, sometimes I really like it, and other times I don't. So it kind of varies. I think I like iced green tea better than hot green tea, except for when I'm eating at a Chinese restaurant, then I like the hot green tea, but I don't know if that's just, I have it in my mind that I should be drinking that one doing it. This video is really, I give it a D plus. Let's try to improve it. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, what, what if I just make weird faces at you guys? <laughs> All right. Um, so this was the, this was the next thing that I got. So this is a, um, here it is. It is, it's omnipotent, kind of like omnipowerful. <laughs> uh, duosity. So it's double whipped repairing cream. It helps repair all types of damage for your hair. Um, so what you do, I guess, is you, um, 
you mix these two together onto your head and it makes kind of a cool thing somehow. It, it creates an intense blend of conditioning uh, and balancing agents to repair all types of damage for your hair. It will leave my hair feeling stronger, looking healthier, and more manageable than ever, uh, which is good, I guess. So I'll have to give this a try. I don't mind. I mean, I try all kinds of different shampoos and things, and I don't, I don't really have a, a particular favorite. So we'll see how this is. And I've never heard of this th anywhere, and I don't know where you would buy it other than from um, Birchbox. So we'll give it a go. Um, on there. I'm trying to read what the different ingredients are to see if there's anything weird. Um, yeah, no. All right. Well, I will give this a go and see if my hair, the next time you see me, if my hair is looking more manageable, then we'll know. So that was a, a thing that I got. Um, I, so I also got this, um, I like that this came in a really fancy little box here. Um, so from Liz Earl, and this is, look at how fancy that is. Uh, so, and this is a cleansing and polishing for your face. Um, a hot cloth cleanser, totally natural skincare. So I like it because apparently you not only, so you use this cleanser, but it gives you this nifty little like, um, cloth that you're supposed to wipe it off your face with. So I thought that was really very fancy. Um, and then it gives you a really like a booklet on how to cleanse your face. Why do you need Let's see here. Um, hmm. Yeah, so that's the cleansing thing. Step one, massage gently into dry skin over face and neck. Work in circular motions. Rinse with this pure muslin cloth. Okay. So you just, you put it on there, your face dry, and then you wash it off with this cloth. So we'll, we'll see about that. I don't know. Let me give it a smell. Oh, it has a little sealy thing on there. Oh boy. Smells like a cleanser. It doesn't smell good or bad, so that's that's good. Um, all right, so that's a very fancy, fancy display on there with this little, like it's like in a Tiffany box. Um, ooh. <laughs> okay, so then I got a mini um, hairspray, which is nice for traveling or whatever. I don't use a whole lot of hairspray anyway, so but this is kind of nice if I. Um, wanted to take this anywhere in, in a little travel size. Um, what is it? N4? Is that the brand? I don't know. Um, little hairspray. Uh, I got this, um, I don't know how to say this particular brand, Inika, Inka, it's I-N-I-K-A. And this is just a powdered um, mineral eyeshadow and the color is Eternal Marine. Marine, is that it? Yes. Um, and it is more, it's like a, a, a slate kind of gray color. Uh, so I don't know if you can see kind of the color there. Um, there we go. Just swatched it for you. Um, so that's really, really pretty. And I like this kind of loose eyeshadow. I think that that's, that's um, pretty and easy to use too. One of the things that I was really excited and that came probably in my very first birch box was um, from Urban Decay. This is the B6, um, the prep spray. So you put this on before you even put on um, lotion or anything, you kind of like spritz it all over your face. Um, and then you put your lotion on and it's supposed to prepare your skin and um, get your pores to close up and whatnot. So this uh, is really refreshing actually to spray on your face. I haven't really noticed any differences in the size of my pores or anything like that, but I really wasn't trying to do that. I just find this to be really nice to put on your face and then um, wait a little bit and put your um, lotion on or whatever. I think that it's kind of hydrating and it's it's nice to put on. So I 
and this is I think this is one of their newer things that Urban Decay is doing I know they have a lot of like the de-slick sprays and um, things like that but I think that this one the the prep spray is newer and I like it so it was cool um it's like it's $32 though for a larger bottle so I don't know if I would be purchasing it uh, regularly but now that I've given it a go maybe for a special treat I might get that for myself but I you know no promises uh, I got so this is something that that came to me it can a styling gel I don't use gel on my hair so um, this is not something that I necessarily am going to really use or need but if I ever were to gel something I guess I could I could try this one um, then I got some really nice um, hand cream and this one is from Toka Toka to, I don't know um, it's called Cleopatra it's grapefruit and cucumber and this smells so good um, it smells really grapefruity and fresh um, and this works really really well as a hand cream um, it does it's not greasy or oily it really like just soaks in and, and smells really yummy I like it um, I got another one, another tiny um, hand cream. This one, it's called Midnight Monarch, and it just comes in a fancy little jar. But it is supposed to, at first I thought it was an under eye cream, but it's not. It's a hand cream. And this is really, it's a lot thicker. Um, it's more like a coal cream, so I guess, and you rub it in. But this is also really nice for, um, because my hands get so, so dry in the winter, um, that this is really, really good. I um, mean, this, ooh, this smells beautiful. I like that um so just I got a some this is a tinted lip gloss uh, from sugar sugar petal is what it says um, it's a tinted lip treatment so and I really like the color of this is nice um, here you can kind of see the color but um one of the cool things about this one is the packaging that it comes in. So it comes in this tiny little, in this little tube, but um, it screws on so that you're not, um, it's it's not coming open in your bag and getting all over the place. So I thought that that was really, I like this little thing. And, and the color is really pretty too, but I really liked the packaging of it. I thought that that was genius with the little, um, twist on bottom. Uh, so the last product, so let's end on a low note. This is the one product that I just don't like at all. So in, um, it's a lip gloss or from Laura Mercier and I like the brand for other stuff. I've talked about that before. I like my powder and things. Um, but there are several problems with this. First of all, the color is really dark. Um, and so when I first put it on, I'll, I'll do a little like swatchy of this one um so there you can see the color it's really dark um so not only that but the color is a little bit intense for anything that I would wear it also it doesn't go on very smoothly it's kind of goopy and uh another problem this I'll smell it. This, well, now my hand smells like every product I put on, but this smells terrible. And so you don't want to wear a lip gloss um, that, oh, that smells so bad. So this is really, um, I know now not to get any of their lip glosses because I don't like the texture. I can't stand the smell. And I didn't think that it went on very nicely. So note to self, pass on this particular brand of the lip gloss. Uh, and that's all that I got from Birchbox. Um, this video was just crazy. Maybe I'll just delete it all. I don't know. Um, let's focus back on my shirt. I feel like that's always a good thing to do. Let's focus on how great my shirt is. And I blame my friends. They're probably like, we never get anything from Birchbox. Silence. I'm talking. I'm doing a thing here. Doing a thing. Anyway, so I don't know how long I will keep my Birchbox. I mean, I really only did it for the one, you know, I don't know. But I'm liking some of the stuff, and some of the stuff is I'm not liking, like most things in life. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.